This is Walter, my teacher. This is one of my lessons. With me is choreographer, interdisciplinary artist, Ralph Lemon, um, who just last night, we, we opened here in Minneapolis the first performance of a three performance run of your newest staged work, How Can You Stay in the House All Day and Not Go Anywhere? A question in four parts. The hair stares blankly. The question is, of course, the answer and the form in which the answer exists. You, you open the piece um, with you basically coming out, sitting in a chair, um, and talking, really, to the audience in, in, a, in a beautifully written way with video showing. And um, it's a very honest and direct approach. What's been a revelation for me is, I've, you know, because Come Home Charlie Patton had so much in it. Right. Set, costumes. Oh, every, every, physical, yeah. Uh, and what's been shocking about stripping things down is how much of the details become apparent. Because it feels <laughs> like there's so much. Right. You know? Well, there is. Yeah. But that's the, and, I, and that's where the title comes in. You know, uh. the whole, like, of course you can stay in the house all day and go everywhere, right? And I think that becomes also a premise for how we're thinking about the work energetically, compositionally, hmm. aesthetically. Like, okay, you just have an essential element. And then that essential element has to say, like, everything. After we finished Come Home Charlie Patton, the end of the nine-year geography trilogy, my partner Asako became sick, and she and I stayed home. I met Mr. Walter Carter, purportedly the oldest man in Yazoo City, Mississippi. The last time I saw him, he was boldly climbing into his spaceship. I ain't gonna see you no more, he said. He said that it would be the last time we'd see each other every time we parted in these last few years. Of course, I didn't believe him. Such a, a, a work based in personal experience, this experience of personal intense loss and pain. How did you navigate those lines around making it still universal for an audience? It began with, you know, Ralph being really sad and needing to make art with his friends. Right. And then his friends, like, figuring out a way to kind of, like, make it bigger. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like that step from the translation from your life to theirs really led to the step that is critical of the translation to a broader audience population yeah. and how they can yeah. tap in. Yeah. This group of, of performers seems like a group that really trusts each other on a level that's different than a standard dance company. I feel like we're, you know, where we're all on the same page. Everyone kind of believes in the locus of the work, which I think is sort of beyond grief and mourning, and and more about just this idea of, of, you know, meaning, hmm. and you know these pure aspects of just existence. That, you know, hmm. we are alive, <laughs> <laughs> and that's and that's pretty profound.